Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's been a while. Today we're gonna be talking, but today we're gonna be talking about data logging and how to do it. So let's get to it. Data logging is the ability to view all major parameters that relate to the engine operation. It will also allow you to monitor all the engine vitals, such as sensor info, life fuel pressure, oil pressure, knock sensors, so that you can even look. At the end of the day, that doesn't matter. You don't have to know. Let me explain it in a way where you could basically have a basic understanding of what data logging is. There's two people who play an important part um, in data logging. It's going to be you, or, or, I mean, or more specifically your car, and then your um, your tuner, those two people. But now we're, look, we're going to look at the tuner like a football coach, a football, let's say a quarterback coach to be more specific. And then your car is going to be a quarterback, all right? All right, so as the football coach, the coach is going to evaluate the quarterback at all times. He's going to be looking at him, see how he can improve or what he's doing wrong. And your tuner is going to be doing the same thing to your car. He's going to look at all your parameters. Well, I have mentioned some like oil pressure, spark plugs, all that. So the quarterback in this case is your car. So the football coach is going to be looking at the quarterback at all times. So the, uh, the football coach is going to be telling him, hey, uh, let's say it's, maybe he's not stepping back right when he's hiking the ball he's not or he's not doing efficiently He's gonna tell him how to do it. And then after that uh, He the quarterback analyzes that and he's like, oh, okay coach um, uh, Let me try and do this and then basically the quarterback's not gonna get it right on the first time Right because um, he's still learning same thing with your car your car after one tune is not gonna be perfect Yeah, it's gonna run better, but it's not the perfect tune so the tuner is going to need you to data log even more. So you're going to have to get information from your car that has, um, that you're going to be data logging. That way you can send it to your tuner and um, the tuner is going to be able to modify it. Same thing, um, back, going back to the football situation. So the coach is going to tell the quarterback, um, hey, throw the, um, throw the football. And maybe the coach sees something he doesn't like or some, something he can improve. So then the quarterback starts throwing it different. He gets better and better. So again, I think it's important to do it more than once just because uh, you're not going to get the perfect tune on, on your first try. You're going to have to data log your car, get, um, meaning you're going to get information about your car that you're going to send to your tuner. That way your tuner can look at it, evaluate it, and see how he can make it better and improve upon it because your tuner is an expert at that. You don't have to worry about it or know about it. All you got to do is get the information for him. That way he can make it better. So today we're going to be performing four logs. Four logs that are pretty essential to making your tune better. I mean, your tune better. Yes. First log is gonna be really easy. Literally, it's just a cold start and a warm start that you're gonna send to your tuner. The second log is the hardest one we're gonna perform today. You're gonna see how much I struggle, um, but it is. With that said, it's relative because it might not be hard for everybody, and I'll explain why once I'm doing it. But you're gonna see. Third one you're gonna have to do is gonna be your favorite one, which is my favorite one, is literally just stepping on the gas and having, having a wide open throttle. You're just opening up the throttle as much as you can and that way um, you're, just, you're just putting air through the engine and your um, tuner is just gonna look at that information. The last one is a easy one, the easiest one, literally just cruise and just cruise for like 10 minutes and send it to your tuner. Um, that's gonna be pretty easy, four logs, uh, the hardest one can be a second one, but it's possible. You guys could do it. I struggled. You're going to see how much I struggled, but I, I actually had to do a couple of takes, but um, it was done. I hope it was done, but I'm sent to my tuner and hopefully he can tune my car better. Again, guys. So right now we're going to, if you have the Diablo tuner, we're going to connect it. That way we can start doing the logging. Just wait for it to turn on real quick. If you have a Diablo tuner, what you're going to go is go to scan tool. Oh, we're going to have to put it in run. And after that, we're going to do the data logging. Where it says data logging, go to data logging. So the first log we're going to do right now is the cold start. Well, actually, I think my vehicle is actually warm. So again, we're going to need a cold and a warm start. So right now, we're going to do a warm start for me. And I'll do the cold start maybe tomorrow. But again, you guys need to do both warm and cold start. So let's get this one going. I don't know what all these things mean, not all of them, but your tuner does. So your tuner is going to read all this information. And he's gonna, and with this information, he's gonna give you the best tune possible. You already see all these numbers changing. And again, this is my warm start. And again, make give it five minutes. 
uh, five minutes for a cold start and a, a warm start. So um, this, I'm gonna just knock this one out. So it's been approximately five minutes for me. So all you do after that, if you have the Diablo tuner again, all you gotta do is press back and you put save log, yes. And that log is done, it's ready. And I'll show you guys how to send it afterwards, but uh, we still gotta do a couple more um, logs. So this is probably the hardest um, log we're gonna do or you're gonna do because again so what you have to do for this one you have to keep the revs at every 500 starting with 1500 revolutions per minute but it's a little hard because um your car will always wants to move so what i recommend is putting your car on manual so that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna demonstrate it uh, to the best of my uh ability and hopefully it comes out good so all right guys so here's the second log and this one's gonna be the toughest guys so remember this one is where you keep the the revs at a certain starting from 1500 and every 500 you try to keep it there for 5 to 10 15 seconds it's gonna be a little tough especially for me since there's traffic but i'm gonna do my best so i'm gonna record there you go so right now i'm at 1500 and uh, i'm on six gear try to keep it there for 5 to 15 seconds all right i'm gonna step it up to 2000 revolutions Doing pretty good. I'm at 2,000 revolutions, five to 15 seconds. All right, let's go to 2,500. Five to 15 seconds. Let's drop a gear and go to 3,000. Right, so guys, I, so from six, I went to fifth gear. That way my revs are a little higher. So I'm trying to keep it there for five to 15 seconds. Things are going pretty well right now. Traffic kind of alleviate, alleviated a bit too. All right, let's go to 3,500. Actually, let, let's drop a gear first. All right, we're at 3,500. 5 to 15 seconds. Uh, all right, we're gonna go up. All right, guys, this is a little harder than I thought. I'm not talking because I'm just trying to be as consistent as possible. 4,000 revs, I'm almost there. I need the 4,500, I think I'll be good. All right, 4,500 now. Oh no, traffic, come on. Oh, I really hope it was five to 15 seconds. All right, hopefully that's a pretty good five to 15 seconds for the last one because uh, traffic hit right now, unfortunately. But guys, this is not an easy task, especially if you live in LA or a crowded area. So. I put it back into uh, the automatic right now. If you have a long road, this should be an easy task. Or if you know of a long road, definitely I recommend doing it there. That's where you'll get your best tune. And again, if for to do this task, this log, I think it's best if you have it in manual because you have more control of the revolutions while as if it were on drive, then you really don't have much control. All right guys, so this next log should be fun for you guys and for me. Um, literally this one's pretty easy. All you gotta do is have fun with the car, step on it, and that way your tuner simply sees what uh, where you're peaking and how he could improve it. So let's let's go ahead and do that. All right, that was one pull. Let me put my my gears down. That way I could get a good pull right now. Another part of the log is actually just cruising with the cars. Oh, I guess uh, this is two in one. You could do it separately, but me, I'm basically just, I'm stepping on it right now and also cruising with it. So that's two in one. However, I do recommend you do two separate ones just that way your tuner is not confused by it. 
but uh definitely right now i'm combining it just because my tuner already kind of knows my car so he kind of knows my parameters already so it's okay however i do recommend if you're just tuning uh you're data logging your car for the first time sending your um information to your tuner definitely i would make two separate um logs one for the cruising just you cruising in your car and another one of you um stepping on your car and you know just wide open wide open throttle So that's it for this video. I hope this helped and was um, informative. If it wasn't or if there's something I missed or something maybe I don't know about um, data logging, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video, if it helped you. If not, then I'll see you guys on the next video If or not. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one.